So while I was out looking around today at some FD parts, I found these tucked away. And they are BBS RS's, the 17 by 8 and 17 by 9. 5 by 114.3. And I just want to show you the condition of these things. This is like swamp gunk. But underneath, and you can see, like, they've been sitting obviously for a very long time. I'm not even sure if I'm going to keep these. Uh, Lips, I might step these up, but geez, amazing quality for wheels that have been obviously sitting outside for a long time. So I'm really freaking stoked. Anyways, wishing me luck. So I ended up selling the work reps that I got at the junkyard because they were going to be more than I wanted to put into replica wheels. Um, but I ended up selling them for a good price and uh, definitely made my money back on them. And actually the money that I made off them is what I was able to get these wheels with. So pretty much a win for me. These wheels have cleaned up really nicely and I've already sent them off to get stripped and powder coated. Um, I think I'm going to go gloss white on them. I'll send you, I'll show a couple of pictures of those afterwards. What my plan is with these wheels. Definitely not the wheel that I thought I was going to run, but um, now that i found these, I think I'm going to definitely make sure that I can make them work. They are going to have to be bored out in the center bore, but uh, other than that, they should mount right up, and I'll be able to get lips that fit them and get my offset just right. So stay tuned for progress on that, but that's going to be a little while coming because there's definitely some big updates coming with my FD in the future. Alright, so thanks for watching, stay tuned, and subscribe, share. So we took the wheels out, and my buddy helped me jack the car up, and we decided to test fit the wheels. And since the board's off, they stood out a little bit, but man, they do look good. And even in 17, I think they look really good. The offset with the 1.5-inch lips look really good. Here's a shot of my new Nardi steering wheel that I just got uh, from Up Garage. It's Buckskin Suede. And my custom little Volkswagen Golf uh, shift knob, you know, got to take it back to my roots and my new radio. Um, but, yeah, here's uh, the faces again mounted. I'm just trying to get the measurements for the step lips that I'm going to go with um, because I am going to step them off to 18. So I wanted to do a render of them. So I found this picture. It's the only FD I could find that has ever run BBS RS. Now, these are the smaller face BBS RS with step lips and I think they look fucking awesome. So all credit goes to this guy and this awesome setup. I think this car looks super classy. So all I did was I took his image and I just superimposed my car right on top of it. And right away, man, this looks really freaking good. And you know, I started playing around with some different ideas. I upsized the size of the faces because that's what size mine are gonna be and I changed the color to gold. Still looks really good. I mean, really anything looks good on these BBS RSs. I try some purple and uh, you know, I'm really stoked. I'm thinking these are going to look awesome no matter what I do. So I changed to a darker purple because that's what my friend who's going to do some powder coating said that they'd come out like, you know, just change it around. So then I'm like, you know what, to keep it clean, to keep it classy, no wing, you know, and I'm liking this look. So then I'm like, what do they look like in gloss white? Let's keep it clean. Let's keep it classy. And I ultimately decide I think this is the direction I'm going to go with the car. Gloss white wheels, no wing. And I think it's going to look super sexy and super classy. So stay tuned, subscribe, and share.